Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mike Colleen at MikeColeen.com. Uh, the main page I want you to go to is CrackedFemaleCode.com. In the future, I may make a separate website because I also do personal development, healing, uh, emotional healing, therapy work like that. Uh, I'm an NLP trainer, master hypnotherapist. Uh, that's Ericksonian hypnosis, the most powerful form of hypnosis on the planet. Uh, everything I do is for healing and to help you to have an under a greater understanding. Um, I'm a master practitioner of timeline therapy. I'm also certified in energy healing, Reiki, Huna, pranic healing, etc., etc. I'm trained and certified in linguistics, uh, really something called HNLP, Humanistic Neurolinguistic Psychology, that's by John Overdurf. Uh, I'm trained in a lot of things, a lot. Uh, last, I did, okay, so let me do this. So this, this is going to be a video about me to help you get to know me, to understand me a little bit. Um, I've been doing, um, I started, okay, let me, let me, go, let me just start from the beginning. All right. So I was born in Napa, California. All right. Queen of the Valley Hospital. All my uncles, relatives, cousins, aunts, uh, gr uh not my grandparents. My grandparents are on both sides was, uh, born in Northern Italy. Okay. Um, let's see what else. So I'm born in Napa. Um, parents used to own two restaurants when I was a kid. My grand, uh, his great uncle Kenny, he at one point, from what I heard, they owned eleven restaurants. Okay, in the Napa Valley area, Vacaville, and then I think he owned some in like uh, Santa Rosa, etc. So I grew up in a restaurant family in Napa Valley. Now Napa Valley is all about wines, culture, you know, stuff like that, about taste, foods, and how wines mix with foods. Um, it's a fairly classy place, to be quite honest with you. So it was a great place to grow up. Um, I also, we moved away when I was a kid for about six and a half years to Wisconsin, so I know what the cold is like, and I mean really cold, holy shit. When I lived in Wisconsin, I was a state champion in boxing, when I, um, Silver Glove State Boxing Champion, um, fought in Midwest Nationals, uh, I competed in a lot of sports. So I'm trying to help you get to know who I am and who you're going to be working with, my background, and really, this part is to help you understand the dedication that I put towards anything and everything in life, all right? So, okay, so we lived in Wisconsin, very hard working kid. I had four paper outs, two in the morning before school, two after. Uh, did my homework, went to boxing practice afterwards, came home at nine, did more homework, fell asleep at about midnight, woke up at about 5.30 every morning, ran about five to seven miles before school, et cetera, et cetera. I was, I was freaking intense. I did that for about four or five years when I was there. Uh, we finally came back to Napa, uh, went, to, went, uh, went to middle school there, then went to Vintage High, captain of a nationally ranked football team. At one point, we were ranked 18th in the nation. We were section champions. We were just, just dominating teams. I was a co-captain of that team. Um, wrestled, went to the state championships in wrestling. Um, just, there's a lot of titles and subtitles, like league, subsection, etc., but just want to leave that out for now. Um, and then I got into kickboxing. Uh, I was also airborne infantry. I was a soldier. Never fought in a war, so nothing like that. Um, then I, when I got out of that, that's when I got into kickboxing. And I think it was about my mid-20s. And, and um, it came fairly natural because I'd studied martial arts since I was four years old, just constantly wherever I lived. I was studying one or another form of martial arts. Uh, wrestled in high school. I also wrestled in college. I also coached for a couple of years, high school. Um, let's see, God, I was very much uh, Christian, very much into the Bible, studied the hell out of it every single day. Um, I'm a fairly dead, not fairly, I'm an extremely dedicated person. Um, God, there's so much I could give. At one point, I was an associate pastor. I didn't actually ask for it. I wasn't looking for it. I was just going to this church, and I, I went to a lot of Bible studies, and I studied the hell out of the Bible for a long time. And the elders, without even letting me know they had they made a vote and they voted me in and I, I was, it was a complete shock shocked me and they're like you're a very spiritual guy and, and and that's that's why they voted me in and that's that's probably an important thing for you to know about me I'm not a religious person religion would be left brain I'll talk about left brain and right brain throughout this whole course because it's very important to understand that if you want to get along with women and romance women etc Religion is about the left brain. This is about rules, structure, organization. This is where religion is. It's about rules. Spiritual people is the right brain. The right brain is the emotional, creative, spiritual brain. It's a different processor. You can notice different things when you open up to it, and that's a part of what the course is going to be about. 
And when I say course, I mean the course. The book, it's a book. It's very limited in what I can do. But the book, the Cracked Female Code, I already put it away. Cracked Female Code, you can download it. It will blow your mind. I have had people fly in from out of state, from out of the country, from England. And I'll have some interviews that I did, some testimonials, video, from London, from uh, Australia, Japan, uh, New Zealand, I'm drawing a blank. So, and all over the all over the country, from Missouri to Kansas to uh, Michigan to SoCal to Arizona to uh, another guy came all the way up from Florida. Uh, even one guy from Canada. Okay, so the course is pretty, or sorry, the book is really in depth, and it will open your eyes. So, let me talk about the book for a second. I'll get back to a little bit more about me. I dedicated uh, over a year to that book. I wrote it and I didn't like it, so I started from scratch and rewrote it. It took me nine months to write it the second time. I put a lot of NLP into that book. It's a lot of psychology. Uh, oh, by the way, I, didn't, I don't think I mentioned, I went to uh, Chico State, studied psychology, and then I transferred to Arizona State and I studied psychology there, okay? Um, what else? Okay, so I put a lot of psychology in the book. There's there's a lot of everything. Something I learned from Buddha Calm. Something I learned from Uncle George Naopi, the big kahuna in Hawaii. There is a lot of stuff in that book that's going to blow your mind. And it's it'll help you to understand. I'll talk about how we are wired, how especially how women are wired neurologically and her mating system and what it is that triggers her mating system, okay? You will find some of that in the book. It's really important. And you're also going to find an extremely funny story early on in the book uh, from Coach McGrath. He was, our, he was probably one of the core reasons, if not the core reason, we were section champions. We were so good in high school. He was a defensive genius. Uh, he said a very funny story um, when someone complained, oh, it hurts, Coach. And he just got men and, and just said something. We would just laughed our ass off. So we knew from that point on this was going to be a different year, and we did really good that year. So... Let me go a little bit about me. So I did my uh, military training in Georgia. I think all of it. Uh, yeah. And um, I don't know. Okay, so then when I got out of the military, I got into kickboxing. Well, my coach was Jacob Stitch Duran. So I trained with him for about six and a half years, maybe seven. Uh, we trained in Vacaville. Then we opened up a school called American School of Kickboxing in Fairfield, California, which is the general Sacramento area, a little bit outside. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Let me let me look at this one page and see if there's something I missed. 